All right, class, uh, I wanted to just uh, give you a quick video on how to export um, as a reminder from After Effects once you've done your draw over. So this is my walk-in example. Um, and like you, I didn't do probably the entire video because doing three minutes and 45 seconds of animation would have taken forever. Um, but just in my short example of you know this light bulb going off, uh, you'll have more than this. But first thing you want to do is just set your work area so that you're only rendering out what you need to show. Uh, now, if you want to render out the entire video, uh, if your animation's kind of, you know, interjected in different spots throughout the whole video, uh, that's fine, you can leave this alone. Um, but if you just did, say, the first, you know, 10, 15, 30 seconds, um, then instead of, you know, watching the entire video, uh, I only want you to turn in what you did. So, uh, in this case, I only have this small section here that I want to render out, so I can either come down here in my timeline and drag this blue work bar, bar over or I can hit wherever my time slider is when I want to start I can hit the B as in boy key uh, and that'll set my work area to begin there uh, then likewise I can come to the end and either click and drag the end of this work area out or again I know I want to stop here I can hit the N, as in Nancy, key, and that will set my work area to the end of the time slider. So, yeah, now I have this small area that I'm going to render out inside here. That's the work area. By the way, if you don't see the ends of these blue lines, make sure you zoom all the way out. So I'm down at the very bottom here. Zoom all the way out of your timeline. And likewise, you can zoom in with the other mountain icon or scroll to see the varying scales of your timeline. Alright, so once you have your, time, your work area set, now all you need to do is go under Composition up here in the menu and add it to the render queue. Once you click that, it's going to take you down to the render queue down here. I'm going to move this up so you can see this better. Um, and then the two things that you want to change is the output module from lossless to a different video codec and then also name this um, by the naming convention and make sure you know where it's saving. So I'm going to start with the video codec. So I'm going to actually click the word lossless, the blue word there. That's going to open up my output module settings. Then under format options right here, I'm going to switch this from an animation video codec to an H.264 codec. H.264 just compresses this uh, a lot so that the size is a lot smaller, but it still keeps the video quality very nice. So H.264 is a pretty common video codec, um, you know, used for Vimeo and YouTube. Uh, that's what, when you upload a video that they're using. Uh, keep the quality at 100 and then hit OK. Again, you can hit OK out of this. Make sure your audio output is, in fact, on on or auto. Should be by default. And then hit OK. Uh, next output to click on that word, and this is going to bring up where your movie is going to output to. So uh, I'm just going to put mine on the desktop. I already have an example here, so I'm just going to click on that, but you would just name this your first name, last name, underscore, draw over. And it should be set to QuickTime Movie by default, but just make sure that is. And hit save. Sure, this will fix it. Uh, okay, and then over here on the far right, you'll see this render blue render button. So click that to actually activate the rendering process and your video should render. And wherever you save that video, you should be able to find that. Wherever you saved it. And yeah, it would only include the work area that you rendered out. Great. And you can turn that into the Dropbox. All right, thanks.